Good morning, guys. Well, good afternoon. It's 12. It's noon. I just had my lunch. Leftovers from our Easter dinner yesterday. It was so, so good. Um, and I guess real quick, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I'm obviously very badly sunburned. If you want to see what happened, go watch yesterday's video, at least the last half, and you will see. No. Yeah, last half, and you'll see what happened. But it's, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, my nose was, it's got like little blisters on it. I don't know, you guys probably can't tell on camera. They're pretty small. Um, but they were like oozing this morning. I've got one blister up here on my forehead. And then I'm pretty sure my ear is blistered. It's so bad. Um, I'm in so much pain. But again, it's my own fault. And that's just what I get, I guess. Duck sleeping on a sunburn because you wake up in excruciating pain. From just like moving around on it all night and <sighs> anyways um so yeah i just had my lunch i'm watching nick merck's um twitch stream and i'm just hanging out I'm charging up the laptop so i can edit my video for y'all and we need to go grocery shopping since we didn't get around to doing it yesterday we have a list i think it's actually in the car because we didn't want to forget it because we were going to go after we hung out at brian's house with everybody yesterday but we ended up staying a little bit later than we thought so we'll be getting groceries sometime after justin gets off um and then that's the only thing we have plans for today um i don't want to go outside too much because it's another warm hot day and it's not fun to go outside on a hot day when you're already burnt so um probably be staying inside a lot the next few days but yeah i just wanted to start this vlog and say hello uh, I'm just going to hang out for a bit while the laptop charges and then I'm going to work on the vlog. So I just got done picking up the house a little bit. Looking a lot better. I mean, there wasn't, I guess there wasn't hardly anything. There was a couple cups and then my lunch container that I put in the sink. Oh, my lighting is wonderful. Anyways, also got the video edited over here. It is saving. We're about... 70% save, so getting there, getting there. Also, I forgot to, to give you guys an update the other day. It was that day I didn't film much in the last video. But I fixed my brother's jeans. I couldn't fix his, fix his khakis because I don't have any, like, material that, like, khaki material. And I didn't have, like, any patches or anything that would look good or thread. And also, I just, again, with the lighting, I'm sorry. Um, I just didn't have anything that would fix it. And I just didn't think it was very gonna be very easy to fix because of the material but I did fix his jeans I actually found some old jean patches in my grandma's um, sewing stuff that we got when she passed away um, so yeah she came in clutch even though she's not here with us anymore she still saved the day that's so funny um, but yeah I found those in her old little this is one of her little boxes of stuff she's got some patches in there and some needles and stuff like that so that was cool that I was able to fix those for him um, with our grandma's old stuff you know so I got my video posted for you guys and I also ordered a munch box which I'm excited about um, if you don't know what that is it's like a subscription box which we'll probably cancel after the first one we just wanted to try it but it's like a monthly subscription box that has different snacks from all around the world and we thought it'd be fun to try it on camera um, and make a video out of it for you guys. So look forward to that. I'm not sure when it's going to come yet. I haven't gotten the confirmation email and all that yet, but I didn't know which one to pick from between the snack crate and the munch box or the munch pack. I think is what it's called, but, um, I didn't know which one to pick from because those are like some of the most popular ones. There's also one called universal yums, I think. Um, but I went with munch pack because whenever I went to the snack crate one, it seemed like it wanted me to pick a specific place where we wanted all the snacks to be from. And I wanted it to be like a variety from different places. And Munch Pack offered that. So that's why I went with that one. But if you guys want us to try any of the other ones, we can do that in the future as well. But for now, that's what we got. I'm excited. It should be coming hopefully soon and we can try that for you guys. I also ordered a mystery tackle box, which is like fishing stuff. I don't know if any of you guys are interested in that. But I'll probably open that on camera when it comes to. I haven't received a shipping um, confirmation for that one either. Anyways, I'm about to put some more of this code, code, cold aloe on here. This lighting in this house. I am so sorry. Um, 
it's so shocking, but it's so, it feels amazing at the same time. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to put that on my arms. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my God. I don't think my sunburn is like picking up as bad on camera as it is in real life, but trust me, it's so bad. Oh my God. Oh, it feels so good, but so bad at the same time. Oh, it's terrible. And then I take what's left on my hand and just kind of pat it on my face. Ah, oh, it's so dang good. Um, but on top of that, Justin has this Sylvadine cream. Is that how you say it? I don't even know. This is actually like the off-brand one, I think. But um, this stuff is used for like burns and stuff. And he said that it would be good for my nose because my nose is really bad and it's like blistered. So I think I'm gonna put this on my nose and continue to put this everywhere else. That feels relieving for probably the next few minutes and then I'll go back to suffering. But anyways, um, he said not to use a whole lot of the Silvadine cream that you don't need a lot. A lot goes, or a little goes a long way. So we'll start with that and see how we feel later, but and I need to hydrate, so I'm gonna get some more water. I only have one bottle of water left. We need to go get groceries. But like I said, we'll do that when Justin gets off. We went to the grocery store after Justin got off and got groceries, and I was gonna film a few clips, but my phone was doing this weird thing. I had a software update, and it actually popped up at like three, but I was like, well, Justin's fixing to call me, so I don't wanna you know, do the software update and then my phone not ring, because that would probably freak him out, because my phone's always on, you know? Because he was about to get off work. And if my phone didn't ring, he'd probably be like, that's strange, like what's going on? So I was like, I'll wait to do the software update till later. Well, after he got home and he was getting changed and all that, so I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and do my software update. So I did it and then we get to the store and I go to reach in for my phone so I can record a clip and it's doing another software update. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So then we get home and it does it again. And I'm like, oh my God. So it finally stopped doing that. Hopefully my phone's not messed up. I don't know what happened, but anyways, Justin and I, I was going to tell you guys what our, you know, grocery stuff was because we decided what we're going to do is, um, for, that's my oven, for lunches, we're going to do like sandwich wraps kind of things. Um, I saw actually on TikTok, um, you just take like your turkey meat or your chicken lunch meat, whatever kind of lunch meat you're going to use and you kind of layer three across each other. And then you put some, you like sprinkle some lettuce, um, you can put some cheese if you want, uh, onion, you know, cut, whatever you would put on your normal sandwiches. You load that up and then you roll up the turkey meat or whatever over all that stuff and it's just like a little wrap. So we're gonna have some of those for all of our lunches because me and Justin like sandwiches. So I don't think we'll get tired of it. Um, and then we got this big bag of baked, the baked chips. These are all only, the highest calorie one is the Cheetos and they're 120 calories for one bag. So that's not bad at all. Uh, it also has some white cheddar popcorn. Those are 80 calories. The cheddar and sour cream barbecue and the regular baked lays are all 110 calories. So those are all really good calories. Um, so I think that's a good little lunch and it'll be so easy. It won't be hard at all. And so we won't be like, ah, I've got to cook again or, you know, then we got more yogurt for our little parfaits with the fresh fruit and yogurt and granola. We love those, as you guys know, so those are easy breakfasts. We also have eggs and some more turkey bacon, so we're good to go on breakfast stuff, lunch stuff. And for dinner, we got like, tonight we're making some baked barbecue chicken with some baked beans. I'm just cheating and using a can. And then we are making mashed potatoes, which aren't good for you, but it's okay. We're not gonna overdo it. We're, you know, doing, doing good. Um, and we're on a roll. So here's dinner. This is one piece of chicken. It's just cut in half so it would cook faster. Some baked beans and the potatoes. I will say these red potatoes boiled like this and made into mashed potatoes are kind of a weird texture. They're kind of like sticky. Um, I don't think I've ever used red potatoes to make mashed potatoes, but I probably wouldn't do it again. I don't know. I thought like maybe I overcooked them or something, but the potatoes were like, they weren't very soft. I had to mash them really good. Um, so I don't know what happened. But they still have a good flavor, just the texture's weird. So 
we're gonna eat dinner and then we're probably gonna play the game for a little bit um because we have nothing better to do you know y'all see justin they're multitasking he is uh eating playing the video game and working on his project stuff <laughs> he's crazy i'm not making fun i just think it's funny you have a little setup in there I'll, I'll blur the laptop screen so they can't see what you're doing in there. But <laughs> I just thought it was funny because he's like, he's eating, playing the game, <laughs> working on his stuff. All, just He has his stuff piled on boxes <laughs> in there. The laptop, he just has a little setup <laughs> going on. I don't know. It just cracks me up. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to make those lunch rack things I was telling you all about. So we got two different meats. You can get whatever you want, obviously. But we got turkey breast. Uh, mesquite smoked turkey breast and then this black forest ham and right now I'm making a ham one you just take three pieces of your meat and then you put some lettuce on how much ever you want and then probably would have been better if we got a squirt mayonnaise but we just got this light mayo um, in the deal so I'm going to open that and spread some on there and then we just got American cheese again this is where you can kind of Make it your own and change it to what you want. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to put half of a piece on each one. Like so. Then we have pickles and just whatever you want to load it with. Just throw it all in there. And then when I'm ready to roll it up, I'll show you how. Okay, so now this is all she did. Hopefully it works. You just take and roll everything up. Yeah, that kind of worked and now this is your little lunch wrap for your lunch and then like I said we're gonna have some baked chips we'll pick whatever we want out of that bag I showed you guys earlier but simple easy all right well it is the next day I had my breakfast this morning a yogurt parfait as you saw and then I had my little sandwich lunch wrap thingies um, they were so good loved them um, it's, I mean, it's basically a sandwich without bread. So if you like sandwiches, you'll like it. Uh, but yeah, I had that and I'm fixing to go over to mom's and see those puppies. They are a little over three weeks now. So, um, they've gotten a few teeth and so mom's going to try and feed them a little bit of soft food for the first time. So that's going to be adorable. That one's standing good. Aww. This one's still too fat to stand. Look, you're not hungry. You don't look hungry. Huh. Huh. Get her. I was, he got distracted again. She's like, oh yeah, there's food here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, scratching her eye. Goodness. <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well, it's been a while. I went and hung out with the puppies and mom for like two and a half hours or something. And then, if you watched, I guess it's been probably a couple weeks now or so, we were talking about getting some shingles to roof my mom's house because... It's the house that we used to live in, and that was one of the major issues, was that the roof um, was leaking in a few spots. Um, we patched a couple spots, but it just needs to be redone. And so uh, my mom and we, us, we went in halves to get all the you know supplies. There's a few things we still need, but we got the you know most expensive stuff out of the way. We got the shingles and the felt paper. Um, and they got delivered today. We finally got them ordered. I don't think I ever updated you guys on that. They finally let us order over the phone and they would, they delivered them today. And, um, I don't know the house over there. Like for some reason, there's like a cement wall on the side of the driveway and the driveway is narrow as it is. And so the guy couldn't get in there with his forklift to get all the way back to the garage. Cause the garage is like back behind the house. It's weird. Um, so we had, he had to leave the shingles in the driveway and Justin and I carried 51 bundles of shingles, like 30 foot 
to the garage. And it was very painful and very tiring. And we got so messed up. It took a lot out of me. And it took a lot out of Justin. He's asleep on the couch. Or he's been sleeping on the couch. I just woke him up because he was so tired that he didn't go in to see the puppies. Um, he just wanted to come home and take a nap. So that's what we did. He said that he didn't get to see the puppies. So we're going to go over there again with Matt and Macy and see them for a little bit. So I just wanted to catch you guys up. But they said they're ready. So we're going to head over and see the puppies for a little bit longer. Aren't they adorable though? You guys, are you liking the footage of the puppies? They're so cute. They ate their first soft meal today and it was adorable back home again and I have lots of dryness on my face just to ignore that I'm afraid to put too much lotion or anything on it so I've been putting aloe vera um, until the sunburn goes away but anyways um, we went and visited those puppies again they're so damn cute I know I keep saying that but it's the truth huh Very cute. <laughs> they're walking and barking and just playing around um, can't get enough but we came home from that and we got showers because we were both so sweaty and stinky from loading all of those shingles. Um, how I don't even know. How much does a deal of shingles weigh? I looked it up earlier and it said 65 to 80 pounds, I think it said. And we did 51 of those. Justin did more than me. He was, he was doing it. But I definitely, you know, held my share of, of doing them. Um... I started getting so weak towards the end. I was like, I can't make it because we were stacking them up really tall. And oh my God, it was hard to lift them like way up. It was tiring, but yeah, if you guys don't know how heavy shingles are, they're very heavy. It's 3,315 pounds if it's eight or 65 pounds. Jeez. Uh, per bundle. That's insane. It's a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. And then whenever we get ready to go roof it, which we should probably do it soon because it's getting hotter and hotter by the day here, um, we have to lift them all up on the roof. So that's going to be fun. Um, I hope we have some help because there's no way me and Justin could do that by ourselves. But I guess we'll have to if we have to because um, we can't afford to pay anybody. That's why we didn't like just pay somebody to do it because it's like 6500 6, not 1000 dollars for somebody to do it and we paid like 1400 for the shingles and then like i said we have to get a few more things but you know we're ultimately saving at least four grand or so by doing it ourselves and you know who has four grand to pay somebody to roof their house not us so yeah um anyways i just want to let you guys know that we're back home we're gonna get some rest and just chill under the air conditioning we're watching the office i muted it so you guys didn't have to hear it but we're just going to relax, huh? Mm -hmm. The only thing I'm going to do is get my ass up to make our lunch wraps and our breakfast for tomorrow. But other than that, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> it is now 10.15 at night. 10.14, whatever. I always round up. My dad gets so mad. I don't, you know how... You know how you have like these random pet peeves? My dad will ask me like what time it is and I'll be like, oh, it's 10.30 and he's like, it's 10.27. And I'm like, oh, my bad. I don't know why I always just round up. It's just, it just makes more sense to me. But... Anyways, didn't know that was going to lead to a little story time. Okay. I'm currently making some scrambled eggs. And then with that, we're just going to have some... The lighting in here is so terrible. We're just going to have some avocado toast um, on the sourdough bread. So I'm going to wake up in the morning, heat up our eggs, and heat up the toast. And we'll have that for breakfast. And then we have our same little sandwich wrap things for lunch. And then Justin chose the Cheetos, the baked Cheetos. To take to work with him and I don't know what I'll have tomorrow I guess we'll see I'll probably just randomly pick when I have my lunch but yeah we're just getting some things finished up before bed Justin's been sleeping on the couch he's so wore out I don't blame him so am I I can't wait to go to sleep um so yeah I'm just gonna finish cooking up this and then we're gonna go to bed so I'm gonna end this video here guys thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one